when the website went live, hmm. it's like a eureka moment, right? You switch that button on and you're there and you go three months without a transaction. That is a very painful phase as well also at that point. And then we got this first transaction and the nightmare of trying to fulfill the transaction. Uh -huh. HDFC says no, why should anybody want to buy from it, Japan for such a high value? Uh, I said no, he can buy in the local shop over here itself also. So we will not open the payment gateway for this. This could be a potential fraud as well. So to get that transaction through, we have to give a higher money, a higher amount of money as deposit to them. Saying if there's a fraud, we'll take care of it. Because you speak to a customer, you can figure out yeah, yeah, you know, whether yeah. he wants to go through. Yeah. And the, and they had a, I think a ten thousand rupee or a fifty thousand rupee lock on it, saying not about that, no transaction allowed on this. Blue dot for courier. Why would anybody want to buy jewelry online? To try and convince all those guys, and you know when you. It doesn't happen in one day. And so a few weeks later, and you keep thinking to yourself, am I like taking something on which is... Just insurmountable. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. which, uh, the, you know, the infrastructure is just not there. And we have to create, we had to create payment gateways for high value. We had to create courier services for oh, yeah. jewelry as well. I felt like that Formula One car, which is, you know, driving in the rain and the guy at the back who's going to come is going to have a great time. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs>